Africa, a landscape with waterfalls, diverse wildlife, and tropical rainforests. But these areas are also the home of people who desperately need support. Richard Dighton, the pro bono partner at Simmons & Simmons, has been helping people in developing countries who are being forcibly removed from their land. People that are pushed out of their land will often experience physical violence. They will see their homes burnt. I've known of people that have been killed. His first case of this type involved a dispute with a safari company. The main witness was an elder statesman who had been taken into police custody and been very badly abused. The abuse extended beyond the elder because a private company wanted to use the land exclusively for hunting. One of the guys who he was close to was shot and killed in crossing over into a land that was then taken. Simmons & Simmons has recently been working with Global Witness. Together they have been helping the indigenous people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The government of the Republic of Congo is allocating forests to logging companies. So the livelihoods of all people depending on forests is threatened. Up until now, their rights have not been protected and they've been particularly vulnerable. The Paris office of Simmons & Simmons has been increasingly involved in pro bono issues in Africa. Eve Barrett has been leading on this project. This piece of work has involved a number of people in the Paris office from different departments. I think everybody was proud to make a contribution. Indigenous people in the DRC have been living in the forest for many hundreds of years. They're hunting wild animals, they're gathering medicinal plants, plants for their nutrition, so they're depending 100% on their environment. Finally, after a lot of work and persistence, the legislation has been presented to the Parliament. Simmons and Simmons' advice was absolutely crucial in enabling us to get something before the Parliament. Without the assistance by Simmons and Simmons, the law would have failed to protect groups within the indigenous peoples like women and children. Looking ahead, Simmons and Simmons is building on its experience in the DRC and helping people who have been forcibly removed from their land across Africa and beyond.